हेलो एंड नमस्कार सो आफ्टर डिस्कसिंग सल्फर फ्रॉम द ग्रुप ऑफ एंटीसोरिक कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल रेमेडीज बाय डॉक्टर नैश वी कम टू द रेमेडी कैलकीरिया का दिस रेमेडी ही हैज मैंशन अंडर दीज टॉपिक्स विच इज टेम्परामेंट ऑफ द रेमेडी द माल न्यूट्रिशन ऑफ द विच इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ दिस रेमेडी एक्चुअली द कॉज ऑफ मेनी ऑफ इट्स मेनी ऑफ इट्स सिम्टम्स द प्रफ्यूज सेट स्वेट दैट दिस रेमेडी हैज द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द जी आई टी स्किन एंड द रिस्परेटरी ऑर्गन्स सो डॉक्टर नैश वाइल्ड डिस्कसिंग दिस रेमेडी एक्चुअली कंपेयर्स इट अ लॉट विद सल्फर मेकिंग द डिस्कशन इवन मोर इंटरेस्टिंग लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द टेम्परामेंट एंड लेट्स सी हाउ द टेम्परामेंट ऑफ कैलकीरिया इज डिफरेंट विद डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द टेम्परामेंट ऑफ सल्फर वेन एवर डॉक्टर नैश टॉक्स अबाउट एनी रेमेडी ही ऑलमोस्ट ऑलवेज मैंशंस अबाउट द टेम्परामेंट ऑफ द रेमेडी दैट टेल्स एस एंड शोज एस द वैल्यू ऑफ टेम्परामेंट इन स्टडिंग एनी रेमेडी कैलकीरिया कब ओवर हियर हैज ए ल्यूकोफ्लेगमेटिक काइंड ऑफ टेम्परामेंट सो दे आर यू नो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनली फैट और ओवर फैट दे हैव अ स्ट्रॉग इंक्लिनेशन टू ओबीसीटी बट हियर इन सल्फर वी सॉ दैट दे आर ली इन दे आर स्टूब शोल्डर राइट द कलर ऑफ द स्किन इन कैलकीरिया इज ऑल्सो वाइट चौकी यू नो पेल काइंड ऑफ अ कलर एंड दे हैव टॉर्पिट डिस्पोजिशन मीनिंग टॉर्पिट मीन्स स्लगिश काइंड ऑफ डिस्पोजिशन एस्पेशली इन चिल्ड्रन now this because they have torpid disposition they are very sluggish they are very slow in movement okay they whatever they do they, the speed of the work that they doing will be always sluggish and slow but it is completely opposite in sulfur sulfur are very quick nervous active wiry kind of people okay so that is how these both remedies vary uh, a lot in their temperaments then Uh, Dr. Nash asks us, "What are the other obese remedies?" And he tells us that there is graphitis also. But in graphitis, along with the obesity, there is a peculiar skin trouble, which you know has all the symptoms of graphitis. So, if you have a rem, you have obesity, you have a patient coming to you, and that patient is obese, and you think about calcarea graphitis, you can obviously very easily differentiate because uh, there are many symptoms which are different. But um, now he, over here, Doctor Nash says that there is peculiar skin troubles present in graphitis. Then he gives us an interesting point that if you see uh, in a patient that the patient has the obese temperament of calcarea present in him. along with that there is eruptive tendency of sulfur also so the skin symptom of sulfur is there and the temperament of calcarea is there then what to do okay this might happen right you this might happen if you you're seeing a temperament from one remedy and the eruptive or one one another or another peculiar symptom from another remedy so if this especially happens then the remedy is hepasulf okay if there is there is the cal- uh, obesity of calcarea present in your patient plus the eruptive tendency of sulfur the remedy can be hepasulf okay so this is about the temperament of the remedy now let's go ahead and talk about the malnutrition of the remedy which is actually very central to this remedy almost all the uh, uh, symptoms that this remedy has many many actually symptoms that this remedy has uh, are attributed to the malnutrition like even the diarrhea of this remedy the nutrition of this remedy you know meaning the nutrition of the bones of this remedy there are many uh, issues related to malnutrition because malnutrition is something that won't ever affect a single part of your body right it affects you as a whole even the mind remains and uh you know undeveloped because of this malnutrition they we have discussed about it all also in dr uh, you know in the video on calcarea cup by dr n m choudhury's materia medica from dr n m choudhury's materia medica and we've discussed it in great details but dr nash actually has this uh, you know uh, he he makes brief uh, explanation of any remedy he gives us a brief explanation in which the even the if the explanation is short it is very apt and it involves some important points of that remedy now let's go and talk about go ahead and talk about malnutrition so while talking about malnutrition dr nash mentions two important points first that there is lack of or im perfect nutrition of bones in calcarea cup or they might even be irregular nutrition and this point is interesting let's we will go to it after doing this one so 
what happens is there is lack of or imperfect nutrition and this is seen in the following symptoms mentioned in the herring gliding symptoms this is what doc this is what dr nash tells us so what happens is there is tardy development of the bony tissues and lymphatic enlargement any way doc uh, any way calcarea carb has an action on the lymph right lymph uh, vessels and lymphatic enlargements is usually seen so that is there and bony tissues are not developing normally they are, they have a tardy development slow development there is curvature of bones especially spine so spine also gets curved and long bones also get curved so there can be knock knees bow knees okay curvature of bones takes place extremities are deformed crooked softening of the bones and fontanelles remain open for too long and the skull is very large okay so this baby will have a very big head and it might they the this baby might even get hydrocephalus and that is why i have a big head and their fontanelles you know won't close on time they will remain open for long which is not normal okay which should not happen so that takes place and then after that we come to the irregular nutrition so what we see over here is that dr nash tries to explain to us that there there is nutrition in these patients but it is getting irregular uh in uneven uh, uh, nourishment so there are different parts of the body so one part of the bone might get good nutrition okay and uh, it will be developing very normally very healthy but some other part of the bone might not get an even part of the uh nutrition and might be starved so one part of a bone then vertebra for instance is nourished while the other is starved okay out of all the vertebras some vertebras will be nicely nourished and healthy and other vertebras will be starved and they will be deformed crooked or you know soft and bones all right like that so while all this irregular bone development is going on the soft parts are suffering from over nutrition right so whatever soft parts we have in our body in calcarea those might be suffering from over nutrition so they are growing even more than normal than needed uh, and uh, bone bone development is irregular bone development is imperfect lack there is lack of development in the bone so how how do we know this thus we have recorded in the pathogenesis because in the pathogenesis we have seen that there are see the third point is about this overgrowth of soft parts there is there are granular vegetations which are also overgrowth and polypus so polyp is also an overgrowth and it is seen in nose ear bladder uterus etc so everywhere any and everywhere in calcarea cavi you might have you can have actually polyps okay so this is how soft parts are suffering from over nutrition while at the same time you have seen that there is irregular bone development curvature of bones you no know, the fontanelles remaining open and all of that also there is tendency to obesity especially in children and young people there is tendency to glandular enlargements as well so that is what we see in this patient and we can finally and you know after uh, studying the various symptoms of calcarea we can come to the conclusion that there is lack of imperfect nutrition lack of or imperfect nutrition irregular nutrition in this patient so before talking about the sweat of this remedy let's just have a little bit discussion on the coldness found in this remedy so as you know sulfur has a sensation of burning all over we've discussed about it dr nash says that sulfur is eternally burning because there is so much of burning all over in sulfur in all the parts of the body that there, there will be this sensation of burning in sulfur but in calcarea it is exact opposite calcarea has coldness and cistus canadensis is also another remedy for coldness you should never forget about this remedy there is there is a lot there is a lot of feeling of this coldness in this remedy also so calcarea also has it now let's see how uh, does this remedy experience this coldness okay so cold damp feet will be there so calcarea will have damp kind of coldness okay cold damp feet sensation in feet and legs as if she had on cold damp stocking stockings so she will feel like she is wearing stockings which are damp that is the coldness type of coldness that calcarea feels okay and she feels a sort of inward coldness so it is not something that is only like like she is not over sensitive to the cold uh, air draft of cold air whatever there is outside but she also feels that the coldness is actually coming from inside of her 
yeah so even uh, it, it is not like she is over sensitive to anything external but it is also inside and obviously since it is inside there is aversion to open air least cold air goes right through her so she cannot stand this uh, stand cold air but the cold air itself is not the only cause that is uh, leading to the cold feeling in her chilly feeling in her now there is also sensation of coldness in single parts as well as general coldness in this remedy so uh, this can also happen that only a single part of her body is feeling coldness at the moment or maybe she will come to you and tell you that i am completely a chilly person and i do not like cold so in general also she might feel it and on single parts also other remedy is a cistus and heloderma now how coming to the sweat of this remedy the sweat of this remedy is actually very very important uh, it is actually a characteristic symptom of this remedy so there are pro there is profuse sweat in this remedy okay first of all is profuse sweat and um, the part on which it is is the head okay especially on the head these people have profuse sweat so large headed open fontanel children so just now we've discussed about the fontanels being open so this remedy has open fontanels right so these open fontanels large headed children sweat so profuse that during sleep this sweat will roll down the head and face and will wet the pillow far around okay so that is the amount of sweat that is seen on the head of calcarea this is very important now dr nash also adds that sweat is also seen on the male, male organs on the nape of the neck on chest axilla head hands knees feet matlab almost everywhere so this profuse sweat everywhere but the most characteristically it is found on the head partial sweats can also be there night sweats can also be there in all these sweatings of calcarea the surface is characteristically cold at the same time and especially we find the lower extremities cold okay so while she is sweating she is also very cold to touch and especially the lower extremities are cold in this patient now dr nash talks about the characteristic symptoms of git which we see in calcarea ka and the first thing he mentions is a sourness of this remedy so he says that the whole length of the alimentary canal seems sour okay the whole length of the element the sourness in eructations is there the vomiting is very sour because it is of sour curds like you see in etuza there is also diarrhea which is sour and the smell of the whole body actually is sour now here in contrast to this sour smell of the body sulfur has offensive odor of the body that is how he again differentiates it with sulfur craving you see is especially for eggs and particularly in children so calcarea children like eggs a lot stomach is distended and in like an inverted saucer it is like it, uh, it looks like this and abdomen is also distended from hard and swollen mesentery so over here you see that mal absorption is an important aspect of this remedy as we've discussed mal nutrition mal absorption and where does absorption take place so intestines are the major basically the small intestine is the major uh, you know uh, area of absorption where whatever food nutrients get absorbed so obviously if there is mal absorption there is an issue over there there has to be some symptoms that it will produce so the mesentery the intestines will be you know hard swollen distended all right even when the rest of the body is emaciated obviously because there is mal absorption a mal absorption will show emaciation because there is no nutrition and will be will have these symptoms as well so both of these are because of mal absorption then we come to the diarrhea and diarrhea of this remedy may vary in color and consistency so you cannot tell that this remedy has a slimy kind of diarrhea watery kind of diarrhea has a yellow diarrhea has a green diarrhea because it might keep varying but you have of you always have other symptoms characteristic symptoms of this remedy so that you can finally come to the conclusion that you have to give this remedy over here he uh, differentiates sulfur and calcarea or actually compares sulfur and calcarea by talking about the modality of these in diarrhea so in sulfur as we've discussed there is aggravation in the morning so they have morning diarrhea as soon as they wake up they just have to run or rush to the loo okay that is the urgency that they feel so that is there in sulfur especially aggravation is there in morning but in calcarea we see that they get uh, the calcarea of these remedies gets aggravated in the afternoon and most important point over here is that the patient 
of calcarea cap is better better when constipated this is very unusual this is a very weird so they feel better when they are constipated so there are many such one line symptoms of calcarea which are very unique and you know uh, interesting these patients uh, can you know infants of calcarea can have leucorrhea also so isn't it uh, very weird so that was an example how you know these two symptoms there are many such symptoms in calcarea cow you can remember so the patient is generally better when constipated that is how he talks about the characteristic symptoms of git of calcarea cow going ahead to talk about the skin symptoms dr nash says that calcarea has a not so positive and unwavering action upon skin as has sulfur sulfur has a major action on skin as we already know so calcarea does not have that great action on skin but it is indispensable it, it there is no other remedy that can replace it if your patient has skin problems and along with it there is the whole general thing of calcarea okay there is some constitutional discrepancy that this patient has uh, the patient is constitutionally calcarea and he has some skin affections then uh, and calcarea cup covers obviously all the general uh, points of uh, you know that patient then obviously and then this remedy uh, will help this patient okay it is indispensable you cannot cannot think of anything else calcarea has to help will cure this patient of it for example in eczema capitis or milk crusts in children of calcarea type so the the children must be of calcarea type if a children uh, if a child of calcarea type has any skin condition then the remedy will help so uh, here of course no remedy can take place it takes its place and the skin of the calcarea subject is cold soft and flabby in general now coming on to the respiratory organs he does not speak a lot about it but he just tells us that the temperament of calcarea if is present along with pulmonary consumption so this patient has got pulmonary consumption meaning tb in the incipient stage in the first starting stages then calcarea will cure for sure now he also adds one point that the middle and the upper portion of the right lung is involved in calcarea cup and in sulfur the upper left is involved okay here middle and upper and in sulfur the upper left so not the right but the left so upper left is involved um that is how he differentiates uh, sulfur and calcarea over here also and with this uh, we complete talking about our uh, remedy calcarea cup from dr nash's materia medica let's just do a quick revision so we talked about the temperament of this remedy starting at the starting where we saw that this remedy has a obesity uh, you know tendency to obesity they have a leucophlegmatic kind of temperament the skin is very white topid disposition but uh, sulfur had stoop shouldered and lean kind of uh, temperament so they are lean when here calcarea are obese Uh, then we came on came to talk about the malnutrition or the mal absorption of this remedy which is a very central part uh, and because of it there was lack of nutrition or there was irregular nutrition that was seen in this patient so bow legs knock knees fontanel open fontanels is what we saw in this remedy right and then we also saw that there was irregular nutrition there is irregular nutrition in this remedy and in the irregular nutrition we saw that some parts just grow a lot overgrow like they can be polyps they can be vegetation then some other parts might be not well nourished might have irregular development okay might not might be uh, very uh, uh, unevenly given nourishment so uh, in the same way he gives an example of vertebra so uh, we have many vertebrates and some out of them only one vertebrae might you know some vertebrates might get well nourished and healthy while other might be you know brittle crooked curved so there can be any problem with the uh, bone of that part that vertebrae which is not well nourished so that hap that can happen and they can there is tendency to obesity this tendency to glandular enlargement in the pathogenesis of this remedy also and we also talked about the profuse sweat of this remedy in which we discussed that this remedy actually uh, has this uh, you know profuse sweat on the head which might even on you know, a roll down on from the head and the face and go to the pillow and wet the pillow far around along with it there is also uh, this sweat present in many other parts of the body like the um, male organs like the nape of the neck chest axilla hands feet 
एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा तो पार्शल स्वेट्स कैन बी देर नाइट स्वेट्स कैन बी देर ओके अभी ऑल द डॉक्ट अबाउट द कोल्डनेस ऑफ दिस रेमेडी सो दिस इज अ चिली रेमेडी एंड द कोल्डनेस इज नॉट ओनली फेल्ड बिकॉज इट इज प्रेजेंट एक्सटर्नली बट इट इज इंटरनल सो दर इज इनवर्ड कोल्डनेस प्रेजेंट इन दिस रेमेडी एंड इट इज डैम्प काइंड ऑफ सेंसेशन इन द लेग्स एस्पेशली राइट Uh, and then we went on to talk about the characteristics in GIT in which we saw that saw that sar sarness of this remedy is very very characteristic so the diarrhea the irritation the vomiting whatever everything is sar the smell of the body is sar but sulfur had offensive kind of smell craving was for eggs the stomach was distended the abdomen was also distended but the patient was emaciated diarrhea in sulfur was aggravated in morning and in calcarea was aggravated in the afternoon and the important point was that the patient is generally better when they, they are constipated and finally we came to the skin and in skin we saw that what did we see we saw that there is any kind of problem if there it is it is there it is because of the constitutional dyscrasia then calcarea cup will cure it not like sulfur sulfur has a great great action on skin but in calcarea cup it is like if the patient is calcarea cup constitutionally and he has a skin affection calcarea cup will help right and in the respiratory organs we saw that again if the patient is of calcarea type if the patient is of calcarea type and along with that he has pulmonary and he has pulmonary consumption in the insipid calcarea cup will help and uh, in the lungs the middle and the upper lobe is involved right side calcarea cup and left side upper lobe in sulfur so here in this way we just complete talking about this remedy calcarea cup uh, under the group of anti soric constitutional remedies by dr nash um next we have to talk about the remedy silica and also calcarea fos in order to complete this group of remedies by dr nash i hope you go back and read this remedy from different books and that will for that will for sure help you you know understand this remedy to its very depth and remember it reading uh, the remedy from different different books will always helps us actually remember the remedy well and if uh, these drawings if you see uh, you know revise this draw you know keep visualizing these drawings again and again it will also help you remember better okay bye bye